So Windows 10 support is ending, guys, October 14, 2025. So you've only got, that's roughly about three months here. Now, what does that mean? If we're on this page here, I'll put the link in the description below so you can read a little bit about it. Uh, we'll scroll down here and we'll just click this. What does that mean? So it explains that October 14th, computers running Windows 10 will still function, but Microsoft will no longer provide the following. Technical support of any issue, software updates, and security updates or fixes. Now, it does say right here, while you can continue to use your Windows or your computer with Windows 10, without these updates that they're doing, you will be at greater risk for viruses and malware. Um, so a lot of people don't care about that. That's unfortunate because there's a lot of bad things that can happen. Um, but some of you do care about that, but you're stuck because your Windows 10 machine, for whatever reason, you can't upgrade to Windows 11. So if you're one of those that cannot upgrade to Windows 11, either because of their silly requirements like the TPM requirements or the CPU requirements or whatever, Good news today is that today I'm going to show you a way to upgrade to Windows 11 without data loss, and it's simple, and it is free. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. I will have you note, keep in mind, that Microsoft has not come out and said that they will eventually block machines that upgraded by pass, bypassing their requirements. Nobody's come out and said that. There's some, been some speculation on that. But as of now, Microsoft has not come out and said if you bypass our requirements and upgrade to Windows 11, that we're going to block that. They've never said that. So I don't know if they will say that or take uh, action on that at some point or not, but just keep that in mind, okay? Um, additionally, even though this method should not cause data loss, it's always a good idea to do a backup of your important data. So you're doing this at your own risk. I've personally done this on uh, machines before, had no data loss. Um, so I highly recommend that you back up your data anyway. Um, should be a video popping up for you now on how to do that, or there's many videos on YouTube that will show you that. So first thing that we're going to do, guys, I'm going to minimize this, and I think I've got it minimized here, but Windows Update. Now, if you are eligible to update to Windows 11, once you open Windows Update, you should have something uh, in here that says, hey, Windows 11 is available. Go ahead and run the update, etc., etc." You might not always get that. So I'm going to show you a way to actually go in here and see if you are eligible. Um, so all you have to do right here is just click this right here. that says check hardware requirements. And all that does is takes you to a link to this right here, PC Health Check. Now, I've already downloaded PC Health Check, so let's just run it. And I will show you that this computer that we are going to install Windows on, Windows 11 on, is not compatible. So once you run it, download PC Health Check and run it, you'll get this. I'm just going to click Check Now. And it immediately comes up and tells me it does not meet the requirements. Um, if I hit Show All Results, uh, it will tell me why. It looks like everything is amazing except it does not like my processor. And this is unfortunate, guys, because this is still a very good processor. This is a, an ASUS gaming machine. Um, it's got great specs, one terabyte solid state drive in it, 32 gigs of RAM, and this great processor. This machine runs flawlessly. It's super fast. It does everything I need it to do, but Microsoft don't like this processor for Windows 11. No explanation of why or anything. So anyway, um, we're going to bypass that and I'm going to show you how. So this is real easy to do. Let's go ahead and close that out. Now you see, I've already downloaded the application that we need, but I'm going to do this step by step with you guys. I'm going to delete that and I'm going to open up the tab here. Again, link is down in the description below. And this takes you to Flyby 11 on a GitHub page. Now, all you have to do is kind of scroll down and you see the latest. Latest released five days ago as of today, which is, um, I think, the 19th or 20th of 
July 20th. So let's click on latest and we'll go all the way down here, all the way to the bottom. Um, this will tell you a little bit about how it works and everything, but I'm going to walk you guys through that. So you go all the way here to the bottom and you'll just grab this fly by 11 latest zip again, five days ago. So let's go ahead and grab that. And I'm just going to throw it on my desktop and hit save. And so I think that downloads pretty quick. Yeah. So we're going to minimize that now. Um, so here's how we just need to extract it. You right click hit extract all, um, desktop. Yep. That's fine. All right, and there we go. It will open up this folder. If it doesn't open up this folder automatically, just go to your extracted folder here, no big deal. All right, guys, so now what we are going to do, we are going to uh, install the Flyby 11, and I'm gonna walk you through this step-by-step, -step, and we'll get your machine upgraded to Windows 11. All right, guys, so pretty easy to do. Once you're at this point, we're just gonna go ahead uh, in, in the uh, folder here, and see all these files right here at the, bio, the bottom, fly by 11. So we're going to go ahead and just double click on that. And the first thing you're going to get is this. Windows is trying to protect your PC. Uh, we're just going to do more info and we're going to run this anyway. Don't worry, it's safe. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this here. Now this part here, um, if you get the two check marks, you're awesome. Um, upgrade probability, very high. So we're good here. So if you do not... Uh, get both of these check marked. If you're in the red somewhere, chances are you probably cannot run this upgrade. You might need to get a new machine. So once this is uh, a green light, so to speak, we will want to click start upgrade now. Now, one of the first things that we have to do, we have to get the ISO file for Windows 11. And this makes it pretty easy. A couple ways to do it. Uh, you can go to the Microsoft site. Uh, you can do the media creation tool, which is beginner friendly. I recommend doing this, uh, downloading this via Fido. Uh, also, this tool, they recommend that. Now, we're going to walk it through this way. If that doesn't work for you, just go back to the Microsoft site and grab what you need. But this should work for you. So we're going to click on download via Fido. And it's going to run a PowerShell. And then you'll get this little thing pop up after a couple seconds. Now, once you're at this point, um, you're going to choose, you're just going to kind of go through step by step here. You're going to do the drop down, choose what uh, you want to download, and it's obviously going to be Windows 11. Continue. And then it's going to walk you through. It's going to open up, you know, step by step everything here. Uh, it's going to ask what release, and this automatically, this tool automatically grabs the newest release of Windows 11, which currently, at the date of this recording, is 24H2. So we're just going to choose that, and we're going to continue. Um, there's the only one option in here. Um, we want the Windows 11 Home or Pro or Educational, and we're going to continue. And there should be another step come up here. Yep, there we go. Takes a minute. Now, this is very important here, your language. Now, you're going to have to know what language your current install is. So if you have Windows 10 Home or Windows 10 Pro, you're going to need to know what the language is set on that. And I'll tell you why later in this video when we come to another step. But most of you will, you would think English International, but what most of you probably want is this English United States. If you're in the United States, it's most likely English United States. Double check what you have in your current system and match it up with this. Otherwise, and again, I'll show you later in the video, if you get this wrong, you might not be able to save all of your, your files and settings and stuff like that. And I'll explain a little bit later. But let's continue on this. And in between these menu systems, sometimes when you do click continue and stuff like that, it will take a few seconds uh, to go to the next. Um, next, we have architecture. Now, most of you are going to choose x64. 
Uh, X64 basically means that you either have an Intel processor or an AMD. Um, the ARM 64 is usually for tablets or older PCs, something like that. Most of you is going to be X64. If you have something different, up to you to find that out, um, then you would choose that. But most of us, we're going to do X64. At that point, it's going to give us an option to download the Windows 11 ISO based upon all these things that we chose here, these specifications. So if you're sure of everything, go ahead and click download. Now you won't see a site pop up. It's just gonna want to download this file here. I'm gonna throw it on the desktop. And the speed of how fast this downloads is going to depend on your internet connection speed. Mine's pretty quick, but you see, I still got two minutes left. Well, kind of between one minute and two minutes there. Uh, so let's let that finish. I'll go ahead and minimize this. And once it's done, that will uh, be fully on the desktop here. All right, guys, that finished up pretty quickly, two to three minutes. But like I said, it's going to depend on your internet speed. I've got, got one gig download and up, so it was pretty quick, two to three minutes. So um, once you have that, you're going to go back to your Flyby 11 assistant here, and it's pretty simple. You're just going to do the pull down here, and you're going, this, this is basically asking you where that ISO is. So we're going to select from computer, and we're going to choose desktop because that's where I put it, and then you're going to choose the ISO file, and you're going to hit open. So now once you did that, it's showing this here that it's mounting the ISO. It's reading everything, doing its little thing. And you'll get this little pop-up and it says Windows 11 installation can now proceed with all the instructions in the setup window. So click OK. Our setup window popped up right in the middle of that. Um, and all you have to do is click Next. You can click this here, in, but you don't really have to unless you really love Microsoft and love what they're doing. I don't, so I'm going to not really choose to help them out at all. Um, and then I'm just going to click Next. And then just like when you install Windows, you know, with a with a uh, flash drive and a, a new installer, it's going to go through the same whole thing here. It's going to go through the different checks and the installs of this and that. And it will uh, keep you informed most of the way if anything comes up. Now here, again, just like if you were to install Windows the regular way, you're going to have to agree to the terms of service. And I scrolled to the bottom and I'm going to hit accept on that. Now, this is the part that I was talking about, guys, when I was talking about the language. If you chose the wrong language, again, so if your current system has Windows 10 Home or Pro and you chose something other than the language, you would not get these options. But since I chose the correct language, it's giving me the option to keep file settings and apps. So if you do not get these options, especially this option to keep file settings and apps, you need to go back to the language part and choose the right language. So since we did this right, I'm going to choose to keep file settings and apps. And from there, I'm just going to hit next. And this will go through your typical stuff here and it will do these little checks and everything else. There will be a few minutes this, this takes because it's analyzing the system and it's just kind of trying to find out what's what. Okay, so I kind of bypassed the rest of that. There was nothing um, special about it. It just calculated disk space and that kind of stuff. Um, so now we are ready to install. If you get check marks on both of these, you are golden and good to go. So from here, we're just going to click install. And one thing you may notice here that I want to explain, you'll see up here installing Windows Server. Don't worry, you're not going to end up with the server version or anything like that. Windows Home and Pro, so you have Windows 10 Home and Pro, just like Windows 11 Home and Pro is built on the foundation of server. The makers of this application fly by are using that mainly because Windows Server install never looks for requirements like CPU requirements or TPM, anything like that. 
to my understanding and everything that I read, that is what makes Flyby 11 work is because it focuses on the Windows Server install. But don't worry, at the end of this, you won't have a Windows Server version. If you had Windows 10 Home, you will have Windows 11 Home. If you had Windows 10 Pro, you will have Windows 11 10 Pro. So don't worry about it saying installing Windows Server version. You will come out on top, I promise. So I'm going to go ahead and let this finish up, and I will be right back with you guys when it's complete. Okay, so it went through all of that. Um, then we got the, you know, the typical black screen that said uh, doing some updates. It did a countdown on that good stuff. And now this is where we are at. It's in the background finishing up. Just like you would install, if you were to install Windows 11 from scratch, you would get the same thing. Um, it's, just, um, it's just doing its thing in the background with installs and whatnot. So like this says, may take a few minutes. We're going to wait this out and then we should see our desktop in Windows 11. And we're almost there, guys. It went through all that good stuff and uh, look what we have here. Um, I am remoted into this by Team Viewer, so I'm going to minimize that. I'm actually going to tell it to go not hide the wallpaper because I'm fine with the wallpaper. But look what we got, guys. Windows 11. We are in here. Everything is good. Um, I do have Open Shell installed on this. Um, we don't need to worry about that right now. Fine, fine. Okay. And yeah, guys, this Flyby 11 did it. Um, we are now in Windows 11. As you can see, it kept all of my files. Um, and so we are good, guys. So again, just follow those instructions. That took us, what, maybe 30 minutes, maybe a little longer with the waiting and updates and stuff. Uh, one thing that you do want to do when you go in here, uh, we do want to check for system updates. It usually finds a few if we uh, check here. Um, and, and if it does come up with updates, guys, I would recommend that you just do those. Um, but now you are running, running Windows 11 on a supposedly unsupported machine. And yep, see, it's doing all these updates here. So go ahead and let it do that. But congrats, guys. You guys now have Windows 11. You don't have to go out, buy a new machine or anything like that. You are good to go and you are golden. So guys, if this helped you out at all, if this saved you some money, you didn't have to buy another machine, if it saved you some grief or whatever, at least give me a like. I would highly appreciate that. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. I always try to answer everybody. And um, if you want to consider subscribing for more videos like this, I would encourage you to do that. It helps me out. Anyway, guys, that is it for today. I'll see you next time.